This is Crypto Lulu, and I need your help and to ruin his YouTube career. Why do I want to ruin his YouTube career? Because he's just so darn good looking. But the other reason is because he is gaining a large audience by spreading the lies that XRP is gonna go up by 200,000%. Yeah, 200,000%. Just hearing that sounds like a scam. Now, honestly, I wouldn't really mind it if he had really good research. But all of his research suck. It's not worse than white people cooking rice. And then just give it a little splash of water. Oh, water. So today I will be talking about why his information is literally trash and why he should leave the real technical analysis to people who look like this. But before we talk about his research, we need to talk about how absolutely ridiculous his claim is. And I've said it multiple times, wake me up when it gets to four digits. Like, I'm not getting out of bed for a $10 XRP. XRP is currently at 40 cents with a market valuation of $40 billion. And the craziest part is if XRP hit $1,000, it would be worth $100 trillion, making it more valuable than all the companies in the entire world combined. Yeah, I honestly don't think that he understands how big these numbers are, or how the world works. It can't be dirt cheap. It doesn't make any sense. If XRP costs $1, they'd need a million XRP, which would cost $1 million. If XRP cost a million dollars, they'd need one XRP, which would, again, cost $1 million. Except that the higher prices make payments cheaper. No, XRP does not have to be high to work. It's been working for years. It works better at low prices. This is how XRP really works. And this is from the Ripple website. XRP is used and burned for every transaction, with the lowest transaction being 0.00001 XRP, all the way up to 0.1 XRP or higher during peak hours. This means that at its current price, the transaction costs anywhere from almost nothing to 4 cents per transaction. But if XRP hits $1,000, then it would cost anywhere from one penny all the way up to a hundred dollars or more per transaction. Hours later after this post, the post was deleted. There was a reason why the tweet was deleted five years ago. That was because it was wrong. Does he think that everything he finds on the internet is true? Now, if you didn't know, uh, SWIFT is a cross-border payment system and that processes over $5 trillion per day. When you multiply that by 365 days, it adds up to over $1.8 quadrillion per year. And Ripple says that XRP can process these transactions at a cheaper cost and at a faster rate. Then it can make a lot of money from the processing fees. The best case scenario would be that XRP steals all of Swift's customers and they process all the transactions that Swift would actually process. How much money would Ripple or XRP actually make? Well, to figure that out, we can look at Swift's 2021 annual revenue. And in 2021, Swift made a total of $894 million in revenue for a whole year. Not even a billion dollars in revenue for the whole year. And if Ripple is supposed to be a cheaper and faster version of Swift, how can a $100 trillion coin make less than $1 billion in revenue? It's like me paying a lot of money for a male or a bride, thinking that she was really, really pretty, only to end up with this. The fee structure. Yes, the fee structure already figured out for the payments going to be made for them and their clients. Now, if we take a closer look at the fee structure, we can see that the cheapest fee would be for $500 billion of transfer per day for $200,000 in annual fees a year. And the most expensive fee is a billion dollars of transfer per day for $10,000 a year. So if there is an average of $5 trillion transfer per day, then at the cheapest price, it would be $5 trillion divided by $500 billion. 
which would equal to 10, multiply by $200,000 per year, which would give you $2 million in fees per year. $2 million. That's less than the amount of money that Mr. B spent on this one video. Now, if we go to the most expensive fee structure, then it would be $5 trillion divided by $1 billion, which would equal to 5,000 times $10,000 per year, which would equal to $50 million in fees. So even if we combine the $894 million from the SWIFT cross-border payments and the $50 million from the liquidity of Europe, we would end up with less than a billion dollars in fees. At that revenue, Ripple wouldn't even be worth a hundred billion dollars. Eh? Does he not know how to do simple math? Do you know how irritating it is for an Asian guy like me to see stupid math like this? Eh? It's like watching British people cook rice. Drain it, which will make it a bit gloopy when you're stir frying it. It's literally scraping my soul. Now, just to be clear, I do not think that XRP is a scam. At least, I don't have evidence that XRP is a scam. Just like people didn't know that FTX is a scam. By all means, I'm not implying that XRP is a scam. All that I'm saying is that XRP is never going to reach $1,000 per coin. But if Crypto Lulu thinks that XRP is going to hit $1,000 in three years, but because I have the confidence in what I hold, I don't care if I have to hold this till 2025. I've been looking at 2025 as my retirement date anyway. Then I'll make a multi-year bet with him. I'll make him a two to one bet in that XRP won't even hit $100 by January, 2026. He may have done a lot of research on XRP. Because we've done the research, right? I know what I know and nothing that comes out can take away what I know but I've done over 10,000 seconds of research and calculations. So I think I'll win. So if you guys wanna help me ruin his YouTube channel, then please subscribe. All right, thank you very much and bye.